What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you've already seen the thumbnail of what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make. So let me run down the ingredients of what you're going to be needing to make this perfect socket to me cake. It's an old time Southern classic cake. So here goes. We have some light brown sugar here. I got some room temperature sour cream. Make sure that it's room temperature. I got some cake flour here that I've already sifted with some salt and also some baking powder. I have some room temperature eggs here. I got three sticks of unsalted room temperature butter. I got a small pack of finely diced pecans, cinnamon, some nutmeg, some baking spray, some pure vanilla extract, and some sugar. All right guys, so let's get into making this video. We're gonna start out by creaming our butter and sugar together. All right guys, so I went ahead and added out three sticks of unsalted butter. So I'm gonna let these three sticks of butter mix for a couple of seconds just so they're well combined and then I'll add the sugar. All right, that looks fine to me. Now I'm gonna slowly add the sugar. All right guys, so now that the sugar is added to the butter, I'm gonna turn this to a medium high speed and let it go for about eight to 10 minutes until it's fluffy and it's a pale color. By doing that, you're incorporating more air into it which will allow you to have a fluffier cake. All right guys, so about a minute in, I'm going to stop this just to scrape down the sides of the bowl and make sure that you get the bottom because you want everything to be mixed in evenly. All right, so that's about done. And our butter and sugar mixture is ready. And this is what you want it to look like. This nice, cloudy, soft, pillowy look. Okay, so now what you wanna do is scrape down the sides of your bowl again. Make sure you get that bottom. Now I'm gonna turn this back on to a low medium speed. And we're gonna add each of our room temperature eggs one at a time. Now, when it comes to mixing your eggs, when you do it one at a time, you just want to do it until you see the egg yolk break and then you add the next one. Okay, so I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl so this can be mixed completely. Okay, so now to this, I'm going to add in our vanilla extract. Guys, don't forget the list of ingredients and measurements will be in the description below. Now I'm going to add in the sour cream. Guys, you want to stop it and make sure you scrape down the size of your bowl. Now we're going to slowly add in our dry ingredients. In between, you want to make sure that you stop and scrape down the size of your bowl. All right, when it comes to mixing in the flour, you wanna make sure that you don't over mix it. You wanna just mix it until you barely see any flour left over. And the flour that you see that's not all the way mixed in, 
you definitely want to do that by hand. So when you detach your mixing bowl, just do it with a whisk. So this here, I'm going to let it mix for about another five seconds, and that's it. And at this point, you want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 325 degrees. Okay, and that's good enough. Okay, now let's spray our two pan with the baking spray and assemble our cake so we could pop it in the oven. All right, guys, so let me show you our batter before we get our baking pan sprayed. You, you want to make sure that your batter is thick. Like that. See that consistency? That's exactly what you want, okay? So I'm going to set that to the side, and we are going to be using this, as I showed you earlier, to spray our two pan. And you want to make sure you get the middle. I always like to do that first. Okay? And definitely the bottom so you have a perfect release when it's time to take it out. Now you want to do the sides. All right, that's good enough. So now we're just going to put half of our batter into this pan. All right, now you just wanna smear it around a little bit. All right, we're gonna set that to the side. So here I have the streusel mixed for the middle. So I have the brown sugar, the pecans, some nutmeg, and the cinnamon. Now we're just gonna give that a mix until it's thoroughly mixed and incorporated together. You wanna make sure that there's no pockets of cinnamon and no clumps of brown sugar. Okay, this is perfect. So now we're just gonna add this to the middle of this cake. Wow guys, this smells so good. Okay, so now to this, we're gonna add the rest of our batter. All right, so now we're gonna smooth this out. Okay, so now we're gonna give this a shake. And a tap to make sure that it's evened out. All right, now this bad boy is ready for the oven. So I'm gonna pop this in at 325 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. All right, y'all, so our cake is done, and it's looking beautiful. So around here, the edges are a bit crispy from that brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. So now I'm just going to let this cool completely, and then we're going to make a glaze for it. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so our cake has completely cooled. Look at how beautiful this came out. Let me just give a little spin for you guys. Isn't that beautiful? A little bit got stuck to the uh, the tube pan, but that's okay. We're going to eat it anyway. All right, so let's get to making our glaze for this cake. So we're going to start out with some powdered sugar. Now I'm going to add some vanilla extract to it. Now we're going to start off with a little milk. Guys, I'm not going to make this glaze too thick. And guys, as I stated in the beginning of this video, the full list of ingredients and the measurements will be in the description below. Okay? All right, guys, that's good. So let me show you the consistency that it is. See, I don't want it too thick. Okay? All right, let's drizzle this over the cake now. Just gonna go around a few times.
That's about all right, so that's about all I'm gonna do with the glaze. You don't need much for this cake because it's already packed with flavor. So I don't wanna overshadow the streusel mix in the middle with a bunch of thick glaze. So that is perfect for it. And guys, you can even see like the streusel mix on the outside of the cake and also like in the inside. All right, guys, so let's cut this cake so we can taste it. Well, I can feel how moist it is. Look at those crumbs on that spatula. Yes. <laughs> All right now, y'all. All right, guys, let's go in for the taste test now. I can see this cake is so moist. Look at that. All right. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Guys, this cake is so good. But I'm so sorry. Where are my manners? <laughs> Let me give you guys some. All right, there you go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, you gotta give this cake a try. It is so good. And it's not a sweet cake. It has the perfect amount of sugar, cinnamon. Oh my God. Guys, this cake is so good. <laughs> all right, guys. So, with all of that being said, I'm gonna finish this slice of cake. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Comment below and let me know what it is you think of this cake. And also turn on your notification bells so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, guys. See you in the next video.